Boker Tov. Master Cafe. <sighs> oh, my Lord. I slept horribly last night. A terrible combination of stiff mattress, jet lag, my son's jet lag, and the dry heat. Woo! Okay, so here's the situation. These birds keep falling from somewhere. I think they must, there must be a nest up on the roof or something, and the birds are falling down. They seem to be very young birds. It's very hot here in the desert, and I don't think they stand a chance of surviving. I don't know. I mean, I guess we could try and call animal control. I don't know. I'm going to have to look into this. I feel really bad for these birds, though, because there are so many stray cats around, and they are going to be tiny little chicken McNugget lunch meals for these these cats, these hungry, hungry stray cats. I, I really think it's just a life is cruel, what can we do type situations, but I'm going to look into it and see if I can call some sort of uh, animal type situation. This is another fellow that was not so uh, lucky. I I put him in this container. I gave him a little bit of water to drink and he is he has not done well. And I guess we should bring him to the vet or the animal control. We should bring him. We should we should we should release him into the wild and and bring him to his natural habitat. I really appreciate Jordan's optimism. I'm not sure that is what is going to go down. Life is cruel here in the desert. This little fella has already perished. Very sad. Nothing we can do for him, so I'm just going to throw him over the wall. He will make for a tiny little chicken McNugget feast happy meal for the feral, hungry stray cats in the neighborhood. This guy is definitely not having a good time. I want to give him something to drink. I don't know how. Uh, as you can see, I, I gave just a, a, a tiny little bit of water to our friend right here. Nothing that would harm him, and he did not drink. So, I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do with these guys. And all I want, waiting for the moment, I don't know. In my face, only for a moment, don't have found a place. We're just dust in the wind. We're just dust in the wind. He flew one last time. I took, I took this can and then I filled it up with water to, 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 to make the bird feel hydrated for the desert. Okay, let's try and give this guy a little drink see here. I know birds like seeds, Jordan. I don't think we have any here. Here, buddy. Here, there you go. You like that? Yeah. You stoked about that? You want some more? There you go. You want to try and drink? Drink a little water. There you go. Yeah. Buddy, Yay. Buddy, you like the bird, Noah? Yeah. Trying to get this bird to stay hydrated. Yay. Maybe he'll survive. Yeah. Yay. Let's try and call. Let's see if we can find someone we can call to help the bird. Yeah, he's drinking. He's Yay. drinking it. Yay. All right. My dude. At least this way he won't uh, he won't die from dehydration, hopefully. There you go, little fella. I've decided to name the bird. His name is Glenn Danzig. <sighs> Got some real bad news. Um, it seems our fine feathered friend was taken, snatched, consumed by one of the neighborhood stray cats. Um, a cat that the, the children, the yellow deem, affectionately call Shula, uh, took our, our friend. And um, 
we're now going to examine the crime scene that has led me to believe such things to be true. As you can see right here, we have the receptacle that contained the water for rehydration of the bird. The bird was situated somewhere over here. Um, way over yonder, we have the hot pink bathtub that we put the bird on the edge of so he could perch himself and its poop droppings are gone, completely disappeared. The true confirmation in the fatal encounter of our little chicken McNugget friend comes in the following evidence. As I was searching around for evidence of any sign of life, I looked behind this flower bed to find remnants of feathers and things. And this is how I know that the bird was snatched and eaten literally in a window of a half hour, taken from us way too soon. The true tragedy. You, you scoundrel, get out of here. Go, leave. I guess the painful truth is that our little friend, affectionately known as Glenn Danzig the bird, never really stood a chance in this environment. Uh, it was always a matter of time as we did not have the resources or ability to properly shelter him until he could be rescued by some sort of animal service. And when the cats are hungry, the cats are hungry. I'm gonna throw away the key to the feline nursery forever and ever. We will never forget the brief time we had with our little bird friend that we affectionately named Glenn Danzig. You will live in our hearts and our minds and be memorialized in this travel blog. Until next time. The bird was eaten by Shula. Shula is a tabby cat with with white fur and 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 light orange stripes. How do you feel about it? Because 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 Shula's a ta because Shula's a cat and the bird is actually a bird. Like it's in Shula's DNA. To what? To to Shula's instincts. For her to what? What is Shula gonna do? She she's gonna pounce right on the bird and then and then and then eat it, then spit out the feathers. It's pretty much what I think happened. I think we can close this investigation now. Do you have any final word you want to say to Shula? Shula! 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 Atastuma! A quick note about today's video. After much careful consideration, I've decided to do the part two of the job video uh, tomorrow because of today's debacle with the bird. I think it deserves our full attention. Some final thoughts about Glenn Danzig the bird. I realize that I am actually found my way inside of an ecosystem that, that has probably been here for a very long time. The stray cats, we've talked about the stray cats. They clearly eat all the little birdies that fall from the roofs that are rejected by their families. It's a sad reality but part of the delicate balance of the ecosystem here in the Moshav. One thing dies so that another may live. Perhaps Glenn Danzig the bird was always fated for such a hungry end.